right guys welcome back to another m critter tutorial so today what we're going to be covering is something that you guys have been requesting quite often lately and that is how to get features to generate on the surface like trees and stuff and it's something that i've been meaning to do for a while so um in here i have the tales of biomes trees that i've worked on it's been kind of edited a little bit from the original so I will try to go over the blocks that build up this particular feature. So if you're using the script that I made the um, non-floating tree script, then you would basically link it up to uh, this part right here, uh, which is the additional generation condition. This runs after this part actually runs. So any additional uh, conditions will basically run after the conditions down here. Um, this is basically what you're going to be generating your structure with, so we'll be covering that in just a second. And then down here we have some other things. Now, some of this isn't really needed, um, but I will cover over what the different parts are. So, the with chance, one in one, the this allows you to make it a little bit more rare. So, basically, if it's... Um, uh, too common or uh, it's you want to kind of space it out a little bit more oh i really hate the um windows stuff okay so if you want to space it out a little bit more then what you can do is you can increase this number and it'll be um like one in two chance or something like that so this would be a 50 percent chance for it to generate if you go like four then it's um 25 percent chance and the higher the number then the, the more rare it is um basically below that repeat and then constant integer um times one and then this basically times this basically means the it will allow you to duplicate the uh condition multiple times so if you set this to two then it will run two times rather than just once um in this case i just have it set to one for this particular medium tree um, so basically if you want to increase the amount of density of the structures, then you would use this particular block. Down below, uh, what we have is the with random XZ within chunk. Uh, this allows you to generate it um, randomly based on the chunk rather than a set position. So this is really important for actually like generating trees and other structures that are on the surface. So if you wanted to generate a bush or something like that, or even a house in theoretically terms, then you could basically randomize the particular X and Z. So that's one thing. Down below is on height map, and then we have non-air block world gen. There's a few different other options that will probably be set to the top one right here. What you want is this one right here, non-air block world. Uh, world gen so basically what this will do is it will make sure that it generates on top of a block uh sort of speaking like it'll follow the train where it is now not all the time will it generate on the block in some cases um it will generate after or before the chunk is loaded so in some cases you want to still use the generation uh, non-floating script that i've covered a tutorial on so basically this allows you to follow the train height map and it will keep on the height, the, the wide level based on that particular level in theory. In most cases it will, uh, some cases it won't, and that's where this uh, script that I will link to in the description is more handy for that. Um, if you are using that particular script, then I ended up using the only if condition and then i've used a block position offset and then um, basically what this does is test for a block in the, the tag list and i'm using the topsoil for the tag list so basically if you're using the script here then what we're using the topsoil which is the grass and things that you would find on the surface um, directly underneath and we're using negative one for offsetting the position because it by default zero 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 will be at the structure placement place where we want to test right below the block right or right below where it's going to be generating so this is basically where 
this comes in and then we're testing if the block is uh, down below. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm testing if the block is the uh, grass that I added in my custom dimension. So that's where this tag comes in. And then lastly, what we're doing is we're running a condition uh, for if biome at current position has this feature. So in this case, this ties in with the biome restrictions. So when you're using this block, what it's going to do is make sure that this particular feature is going to only generate in the biomes that it happens. So if this is not here, what it's going to do is just generate in every biome. So you don't want that to happen. Make sure, like you can have the biome restrictions, but just make sure that this block is here as well if you do use it. So this is basically where this comes in. And then for the most important part is the generation stage. So this is basically what, um, where you, you will uh, generate, um, what section of the chunk generation it will actually generate when, like part of. Uh, there's different ones, higher the list, the, um, the first of the process. So for example, uh, in this case, a raw generation will be like the stone and stuff like that. And then basically lakes will be generated and then um, local modifications, whatever that's supposed to be, underground structures. And then it just keeps going down until it gets to the top layer modification. And I've basically put that in after um, to hopefully fix some of the floating tree issues because it's at the very last generation phase, right? So... Uh, when you're generating surface structures. There is one called uh, vegetation and or vegetal um, decoration. So you can use that one. There's also springs, fluids, and underground, and all the other things. Um, if you're working with this, you might want to always have it on the lowest one, but you might want to play around with it to see what works. Um, most of it is going to be um, these up to this particular uh, part, local modifications is probably going to be all generation. And then structures seem to come in after that point or generation, underground decoration and such. So um, it'll vary depending on what you want to set up. Now to find all these blocks, well, there's one actually the last thing that we need to cover and that's the advanced. And then there is a custom structure um, offset by X, Y, and Z that you would probably just leave to the, the, the regular location with rotation, um, random rotation. Now, depending on how you want to set it up, you can set it up with that. Rotation doesn't actually work with my script. Um, that's just the way it is. It's just not designed for that. And same with mirror. And then yeah, do not place block, do not place blocks in block list or tag, and then you're basically setting, setting that. So basically what you want to do is set this to a structure block. So if you search up structure, uh, I don't know why it's not coming up. Um, let's see here, it's somewhere in here. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's this one. So you want to select the structure block one and then you want to select your structure up at the top here with structure part. So in this case, I would have like a structure, whatever rotation. And because it's trees, I had to set up the rotations. And that's where I'm using the random feature from list, which is also under the advanced tab. It's this one right here. And what I've done is I've created uh, basically all the different rotations and I've created also... Um, the flipped versions as well. So these ones with the F are flipped versions. These ones are the rotations. And I've also, um, by look, oh, because I'm, because I have roots and stuff, I've been, um, basically offset the position. So the structure is under the ground a little bit. So that's basically where the offset on there is coming in. So if you need to offset your structure, then you can do like negative whatever blocks that you want it to go under and that's basically what it's going to do. So basically I have different uh, sizes and stuff like that for um, not so much sizes, but different variants for all these. So there's the two variant and then there's the three ones. So you can do this something similar if you wanted to add different structure rotations. And again, I'm just using 
the structure uh, block to make sure that it's not going to generate those, but um, that is kind of required. So with that being said, um, we can go ahead and take a look at where these blocks are located. So we have the first tab, which is common. And under here, what you can find is the chance one. And you can find that one right there. By default, it's one in five, but um, you might need to set that to whatever you need. Like for example, I just set it to one because I wanted it to be on that level. And then you will also find your um, constant uh, repeat feature here. So by default, this is set to four. Uh, depending on how common you want it, you might want to set it to a different number. And then the random X, Y, and Z is also under here. You can see that one right here. So you would put that in this particular order. So these are all the particular, like it will run from top to bottom. So it's very important for how it's set up. Rotating these blocks around will have different effects. So keep that in mind when you're actually generating it. And then what we need is the height map. So we're gonna to go to the height map or the height placement. And then we're gonna get grab this one right here and make sure that it's on this one right here, the third one down, so that one. And then we have the condition. So if you're using that particular one, then what you need to do, like with the script, then what you're gonna to need to do is set up one of these. So you're gonna use only if condition, and by default it's error. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need, to need to get block with tag, and then you would need to set this up to negative one and then put your tag in here. So that would be basically that. And then lastly, what we need to do is only if biome supports this feature, this is under the common placement and it's right here. So that's basically all the script that you would need to generate uh, the particular structure. And just keep in mind that you will need to adjust these particular ones. Um, if you want it more rare, then you would use this block. If you want it more common, then you would use this block. You don't necessarily need these both of these in your particular procedure but it's easier to test things if they're already in you can always uh, set it to one and one to um, put it at the very default state of what it would be generating so that's basically what i've done up here and in most cases you might need to just leave it the way it is or play around with it but hopefully that helps a little bit with the structure placement now when you're selecting biomes you can do it by tags as well and then you would, it's a little bit easier to update all these particular things. Uh, in this case, I just wanted it to generate in this particular biome. So I basically added it to that particular list. But if you add um, more biomes and your mod gets more complex with different biomes and stuff like that, you might want to start to consider to use tags as it will be a lot easier for the updating all the actual features and stuff. So hopefully that helps uh, with the structure generation and stuff like that. Uh, again, I will link to the project workspace for the advanced script. I could have kept it up to date over the years. So um, I've actually been expanding it to support um, train modifications. So um, that's why this is basically set up the way it is. By default, it will be like that. But um, I'm still experimenting with this particular uh, feature. So this is basically what it would look like when it's set up. I might do another tutorial on that uh, particular script uh, because it's a little bit more different and it would be good to revisit it. But oh, so that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.